So you're thinking about moving to the Raleigh, North Carolina area and maybe looking at master plan communities? Well, in this video, we're gonna give you the pros and cons, that's right, the good and the bad of Holding Village here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. We'll look at the houses, the amenities, the location, everything Holding Village has to offer, and we're gonna do that next. So you want to know everything about Raleigh, North Carolina and the surrounding areas? Then like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you'll be the first to learn when we put a video out about the Raleigh market. Now, Chris, today we're in Holding Village. It's one of the best and most popular master plan communities of the Triangle. Yeah, these master plan communities have so much to offer from amenities to houses. It can be quite overwhelming for a lot of people trying to decide which one's right for them. Yeah, I mean, it is, master plan communities get a lot of attention, but it is very hard to choose, whether it's Flowers Plantation, Wendell Falls, or here at Holding Village. Right. So today we're gonna go over the pros and cons. We're gonna be honest here. Hey, you wanna get us started with our first pro? Let's go. All right. Now this brings us to our first pro of Holding Village, and that is housing. Now in this community, there is a wide variety and style of homes, ranging anywhere from 1,800 square feet on up to 3,700 square feet, with a price range of the high 300s on up to a million dollars. So as you see, a vast range that you can choose from, all built by award-winning home builders, Pulte Homes, Cole Brothers, TriPoint Homes, and Garmin Homes. Now this community is an old dairy farm so they wanted to kind of maintain that history and a lot of the homes are going to be a farmhouse style so again town homes single family homes 1800 square feet 3700 square feet you name it you can find it whatever style fits you it's here in holding village that brings us to our next pro here at holding village and that's the amenity. There's a beautiful swimming pool, and, and that's not all. You get walking trails, and they're gonna connect to the Wake Forest Greenway. You also have playgrounds, fire pits, relaxation areas, and I tell you, there's just so much to do here. Like most master plan communities, you can have a great time and never leave your neighborhood. And in addition to all that I mentioned, there's Silo Park coming later in 2023, and it's going to be the centerpiece for this community. So that brings us to our next pro, and that is the school system. This neighborhood is part of the Wake County school system, which has charter schools, private schools, the public schools, and better yet, according to niche.com, they're all rated A or better school systems. Not only that, but you're an hour away from three major universities, as well as the largest community college in the state of North Carolina. We're here at our next pro and that's Holding Lake. You know, Grandpa Holding, the namesake of the neighborhood, said the fishing was best here because they were milk fed. I mean, after all, this was a dairy farm. This 15 acre lake is a perfect place right here in your own neighborhood for fishing, walking around, just relaxing. You can feed the geese, feed the turtles. If you're looking for a bigger lake though, we're just 15 minutes from Falls Lake. It is an enormous lake, appropriate for all kinds of water sports, skiing, fishing, you name it, even camping. So you can head just 15 minutes away for any outdoor recreation you're looking for. Now that brings us to our next pro, which is location. Now, believe it or not, Holding Village being a master plan community, it is literally walking distance to here in downtown Wake Forest and everything that downtown has to offer. You have anything from boutiques, rooftop dining, breweries, shorties, famous hot dogs. And let me tell you, they are good hot dogs and I get one every time I'm here. So you have everything to offer right here in walking distance to downtown. At piggybacking off location, our next pro is shopping. You are walking distance to downtown, and that means you're walking distance to all the shopping downtown has to offer. 
how not only is there a plethora of shopping here in downtown Wake Forest, but you have all the Wake Forest big box retailers, restaurants, and you're just 15 minutes from one of the Triangle's largest malls, Triangle Town Center. All right, Chris, well, that brings us to the point that everybody's probably been waiting for, and that's the con. Cons. Well, the first con of Holding Village is location. Now, you are close to the downtown Wake Forest area. However, we are on the northern side of Wake County and the Triangle. So that puts you a little further away from downtown Raleigh, the airport, uh, RTP. You're going to be roughly anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, to from, any of the, from any of those locations yeah. here. So while you do have the close proximity to downtown Wake Forest, you have a longer drive yeah. to those and, larger and, areas. And most people that contact us uh, at Crossroads Residential and through the Moving to Raleigh and C Channel are coming here. Uh, now we do have people that are relocating within the area, right? but a lot are coming here to work in Raleigh, in right. Research Triangle Park, from Florida, from California, Absolutely. from New York and that, that's definitely a, a major factor absolutely so second one lack of public public transportation and right. i think that that kind of coincides with the and that's a right. common theme with most videos and most communities we do just to be quite frank about it the triangle just doesn't have good public transportation no it, just about anywhere you live here you're going to have to have a car um now they're working on it. They're working they to get that, that public transportation here in the Triangle area, but it's still a ways off. It is. Hopefully we'll get that commuter rail and light rail they keep talking about. I sure hope so. That's, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> What's Much needed. Yeah. Next. So the next one is going to be um, in this subdivision, this uh, community, it's the small lot size. Uh, in these master plan communities, you do kind of give up some of that lot size uh, because they're, they're putting a lot of homes in the area. So you're going to have some of those homes, most of the homes that are closer together. So if you want more of that separation, more lot size, you're going to have to go into more, more rural areas and outside of this particular community. Yeah, most master plan communities, you may get really lucky in the early phases of a lot of them. They have maybe a quarter acre. Right. But you're talking 0 0.1, 0 0.08. <laughs> but you're using the common spaces as your right. yard. Right. And a lot of those times, a lot of that area is is maintained for you. So, hey, it is. And so that I'm going to piggyback off that okay. and just say there's just the lack of variety in architecture. Right. If they, you know, some folks just say, yeah, those master plan communities, all the houses look alike. Please well, they do to a point. But it would look kind of funny to have an ultra modern house beside a farmhouse. Right. When they're that close together. Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have from each of those builders kind of a subset of floor plans and style of homes. Now here in Holden Village, that most of them are gonna kind of follow that farmhouse style just because they want to maintain the history of this this location. Um, but you're you're giving up some of if you want something more specific, you're just not gonna find that in this area. Yeah, it's but you know I think that's why it's important to to watch videos like the ones we do about all the master plan communities and pick the one that you that you do like. Right. <laughs> which kind of also leads us into our last con, which is the big one. The big one everyone wants to hear about HOA. Now, HOA has positive and negative. Uh, now, if you're if you're someone that doesn't like that regulation, um, then HOA is not for you. Um, th but the HOA has its positives as well because with all the amenities that we've shown you here in, in this master plan community you only get that in this location for 114 dollars a month right and, and there's no way you could join or affiliate with all the different things to have a no. place to fish and swim and hike and um but you know e either you you like those things or, or maybe you just want a big yard of your own it's just not always for everyone no but you know it's as we say er things. everything's a trade-off everything's a trade-off right <laughs> if you you like all the amenities but you know, don't want the HOA or vice versa, so. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, Holding Village is beautiful. It's fast growing and Wake yes. Forest is it's just, it's a cool little town. And it's, it's a cool little town, all the outdoor activities here and uh, it's really nice. And it's close to the lake. Close to the lake. I really enjoyed our, our time out here today. Yep. So if you're looking to move to the Raleigh area, whether it be Holding Village, Wake Forest, Wendell, Wendell Falls, anywhere in the Triangle, call Crossroads Residential. And we'll make it happen.